Welcome guys to Rockstar Rob's Radical Game Playthroughs, Super Mario Brothers 1, Part 3. This will be Worlds 5 and 6, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our journey so far. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. It's funny how I'm like not going through pipes and stuff, but kind of whizzing through it. <laughs> but this is how I always am. And I heard there's a, and saw there's a speed run record for this game. It'd be amazing to try to beat that, but I'm just doing this my own way for this playthrough. Ah, oh, dang it. I knew the fire flower was somewhere. Got him. Nice. So far, I'm not missing a beat. Oops. Maybe that'll be short-lived. Yep. But that's fine. Oh, nice. Oops. And I jumped the gun there for a second. Can't remember what's there, but there we go. And there are a lot of stuff hidden in these blocks and stuff, whether it's stars, fire flowers, mushrooms. Oh, yeah, I don't like this one either. Not with the bullet bills flying all over the place. Mmm. And this is when... This is one of those games that don't have a difficulty setting but this is pretty dang hard so our goal for this playthrough is just to beat the game but try to get as much things as we can. That's what I'm trying to do. Our first castle. Yep, it has one of those uh, fire things. Dang it. For some reason, what I was using was messing up on me. You know what, I'm going to do it this way. Old school. And I'm using the directional pad. See if I can jump this. Yes. Old school is the way to go. Oh, yeah. This is going to suck. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. 
And we are on world six. And every time Toad will be there to say that you're our princess is in another castle. Ah, uh, oh. Dang it, I had a funny feeling he was making a spike do land there. You know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna deal with that. Top of the flagpole. Or nope. Not quite. But almost. And this will, this will n in no way <laughs> be a um, flawless playthrough but I just want to do these play I just want to do these playthroughs on retro Wednesdays and this is where you're gonna see a lot of accidents happen because we are getting close towards the end of the game so uh, I thought there was something in there. Jeez. I know there's something in this one. Nope. Never mind. Jeez. There's nothing in that one either. Uh oh. There we go. This here is one of my favorite levels just because of how unique it is with the gray. Background. Oh, how the heck am I going to do this now? Oh, wow. That was great. That's a fail. <laughs> nice. No! And I can see that this level is actually pretty blurry. Probably because of the gray background. Jeez. Oh, Bullet Bill. I will say that there has been a time I got a pretty flawless playthrough of this game. But apparently these days, that's pretty rare. <laughs> but this is it. Ah, dang it. I meant to land on the... There we go. Oh, shoot. I'm going to get hit. Oh. I knew it. It was just a matter of time. Zoomed right through. Jeez. Very fortunate for that one. Thank you, but our princess is in another castle. And that leaves us at the grand finale next time. So the next Wednesday will be part four, and it'll be our finale of our playthrough of Super Mario Brothers 1. And then I'm going to make a poll to see if you guys want me to do uh, this game over again, but in the different mode it gives us after we beat the game once. If not, I will just jump to Super Mario Brothers 2 or Lost Levels. So uh, if you like the video, please give it a like and share. 
If you like my content now or any other further content I have planned in the future, please subscribe. One subscriber means a lot to me. Look out for the finale next week, next Wednesday for Retro Wednesdays. Part four, keep the faith and rock on.